Hey, a pleasure. Good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Jeff Bork, and this is going to be a quick preview to our Lehigh Valley Phantom versus the Cleveland Monsters, the Blue Jackets affiliate, as they have not been struggling this season at 10 7 2 and 3, having a very solid season. Where our Phantoms have obviously been struggling mightily at 3 11 4 and 1, due to big part due to injuries, but they're not going to make excuses. The guys have said it in their quotes. They got to figure out the next man up mentality and get it going. Nick Lappin's been good since coming in here, won the PSECU Player of the Week last week, deservingly so being a good veteran that played well in the game that he came into. Um, but let's look at the numbers. 25 points to only 11 points for the Phantoms. Uh, 68 goals for oh, over 20 above the Phantoms, only 44 goals for. Uh, obviously, you have Frost up and Wilman, the two biggest scorers. Over uh, the Flyers and Jackson Cage, who obviously has a three-game assist streak this year, also is up with the Philadelphia Flyers. So that ain't going to help the scoring. Um, when you go with 65 goals against to 69 for Cleveland, the Phantoms look better there. Minus 21 is a very big goal differential. That's one for Phantoms, only a minus one for the Monsters. And the penalty minutes are literally even at 275. So you might expect a little bit of jam and a little bit of penalties in this game. Uh, the streak for the Phantoms, 0-5, 2-1. Uh, not a good spot to be in. Hopefully, just like the Flyers are able to get a win going to get off their snide, the Flyers are able to get that big win over the Vegas Golden Knights. Hopefully, the Lehigh Valley fans will be able to get a big win over a good Cleveland Monsters team to be able to get them going and get off of their snide. You would have to envision not knowing that the Horford Wolfpack game 100%. Obviously, that was the game last night that got postponed. And now there's another game on the schedule against the Wolfpack, not the postponed game. That will be made up later. But there's a game on for tomorrow without knowing exactly what's going on as we pray and wish everybody well in the Wolfpack organization. You have to start Sandstrom tonight. One would think you have to put your best guy out there, your best put foot forward, excuse me, and be able to try to get this W. You're going to have Mason Millman back soon. You already have Wyatt Wiley back in the Phantoms forward, and that makes a huge difference. And obviously you have Igor Zamula and then hopefully Cam York. I'm not sure I haven't read or saw anything about him for tonight, if he's able to play tonight, that's absolutely swimmingly amazing, but I haven't seen anything about that. Hopefully, he'll be able to come back, and we know he, the impact that he can make in the lineup. And then you have Ruby back as well, who's been a good player this year, who I think's matured from going over to the KHL. Should he be a little bit more aggressive that I've seen some people say he needs to still do? Yes, sure, but he plays a good 200-foot game, good penalty kill game, and I think is going to be a Words to the wiser kind of bottom sixer level potential guy, at least at this point, and we'll see where he goes. He has more offensive whiz in that stick, I think, that he showed at other levels, and he's even shown at times at the AHL level, but he just uh, hasn't shown the same aggressive offensively, but he, I think he's a good, solid, all-around 200-foot player. That's for darn sure. The Phantoms, in order to win this game, you got to try to come out early. You can't be trying to put the games all on your goaltender. Uh, just like the Flyers, the Phantoms have been getting pretty good goaltending this year that they've been relying on to just kind of keep them in games a lot of the time. Even that game Gillies played, uh, he played a pretty good game before he ended up signing with the Blues organization. So you need to be able to play better in front of your goaltender, play significantly better um, defense. Having Wyatt Wiley back is a key factor to being able to play the defense a little bit more concise there. And then also... Um, Obviously not having Nick Seale, he wasn't an injury, but having him up with the Flyers all season, he was kind of the defensive defenseman you were going to mix in as a veteran there, where Adam Glendening is more of an offensive defenseman. But it's all about figuring out mode for the Phantoms right now, just like it was for the Flyers, who were able to get off the snide with a win against the Vegas Golden Knights. Now it's about seeing if the Lehigh Valley Phantoms can get off the snide with a win against the Cleveland Monsters, the Blue Jackets organization's affiliate in AAA hockey um, in the AHL. I hope you all enjoyed this preview to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms versus Cleveland Monsters. Not making a prediction on the game. I would have to lean towards the opponent, though, if we're just going by the way that the teams have been going this year. But I think if the fans can come out with some jam, if they can set the tempo early in this game, then they have a good chance, just like the Flyers did last night, to get off of the snide and maybe get some good things going here. But it's going to be tough for them with how many guys are up with the Philadelphia Flyers that are key factor and key contributor players for their team, and also guys that are still out. If Allison's in tonight, that's a huge factor, obviously, in their direction, so we'll have to follow that. And if York's in, that's a huge factor in their direction, so we'll have to follow that. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the game tonight, and let's go Phantoms.